It can be frustrating to have your computer lock up and freeze on you when you're in the middle of something. The good news is that diagnosing computer freezes is often fairly easy and will walk you through what you'll need to do to fix the underlying problem. Keep in mind, it's a good idea to back up all of your files and data before you start tinkering around with anything just to be on the safe side. Let's begin. 1. An unplugged or dead mouse. Start with the easiest fix and just check your mouse cord. If the USB cord came loose or your wireless mouse died, it might look like your computer is totally frozen at first. This is unlikely to be the culprit, but it takes 10 seconds to check, so you might as well start there. You can also try switching USB ports and trying a new mouse if you suspect this might be the issue. If it's wireless, recharge it or replace the batteries to see if it works. Try hitting caps lock. If the little light on your keyboard lights up, your computer isn't totally locked and it's worth investigating your mouse cord. On a laptop, your trackpad may be disabled or dirty. There are lock buttons on many laptops that will turn the trackpad off, so look online to see if your specific has one of those. 2. Too many programs open? This is probably the most common reason for a computer to freeze. Every app and program requires resources, and if you run too many things at once, it can trigger a freeze. Either your RAM can't handle all of the programs or your CPU can't keep up or you simply don't have a power supply beefy enough to cover the job. If you've got a bunch of stuff open right now, try closing a few programs to see if that freezing and stuttering improve. RAM, which stands for Random Access Memory, is basically your computer's short-term storage capacity. If the RAM gets overworked, it can cause your computer to freeze. You may be running a ton of programs in the background without even knowing it. Open the Task Manager or Activity Monitor app for macOS to take a look at how many background programs are running. 3. Too many web browsing tabs Web browsing tabs require resources just like regular programs. If you're one of those people who keeps dozens upon dozens of browser tabs open on their computer, this could be the source of your woes. Every individual web browser tab uses a surprising amount of RAM. So try sticking with a handful of tabs and close whatever you aren't actively using to avoid this issue in the future. Don't use more than 20 tabs at any single time. If you've got more than 20 tabs open at a time, close some of them. 4. An unresponsive program If a single app or program locks up, it can cause the computer to freeze. In any case, a locked up program can cause your entire computer to freeze. Luckily, turning the program off should solve this one. To close the program, open the task manager, find the unresponsive program and select in tasks of Windows and on a Mac. Press OP plus MD plus SC to open the force quit window. Underlying causes here can vary. It could be that there's just a bug in a program. The drivers are bad or it's too intensive of a program for your computer. If it's a newer, intensive program, like Blender, or a high-end game or an Android emulator, and your computer is kind of old, you may just not be able to run those programs. If it's a program you've had no problem with in the past, try reinstalling it. 5. Corrupted system files If Windows has any bad system files, it can cause random freezes. To see if something is going on here, Open the command prompt in an administrator mode and enter SFC scan now and hit enter. If it reads Windows Resource Protection, did not find any integrity violations, you're in the clear. But if you do get an error, the easiest solution is to either reinstall Windows or perform a system restore. To revert back to a date when your computer was running just fine, it is possible to fix this manually without reinstalling the operating system or using system restore but it's exceptionally complicated and difficult. Still, if you have a techie friend in your life, you might ask them if they could do it a sick, a buggy or incompatible driver. If you updated your computer or a program, this might be the problem. Drivers are basically instruction manuals for programs and components. And a corrupted or incompatible driver can do all kinds of funny things to your computer including causing freezes. Reinstall any drivers you recently updated to fix any issues. It's possible something just messed up when you were downloading the driver the first time. 
You can also use System Restore to revert your drivers to a previous point. There are other reasons for computer freezing. But as you know, this video cannot be more than 5 minutes long. So those reasons are covered in part 2 of this video. You will find the link in the description box or you can click on the i button. If you think this video is helpful, so please do 3 magical things like and share the video and subscribe 5 max to get tech solutions in 5 minutes. Thanks for watching.